Hey, good morning, y'all. It's uh, Tuesday. It's like 30 degrees. It's kind of chilly, kind of windy. Um, okay. We're uh, kind of pumping it. You can see some boats down there. We've got two, or one tank here. But uh, got the payload right there. Lights on. Uh, we're cleaning this out. We got our two Artex spreaders here. So, it's kind of, the camera doesn't really do it justice, but like, it's like over eight feet deep of solids. So, if you got, if you would put a manure boat in there, like, the different farm style Wolverine, you would not worry about that. But hey, it's a little too late for that. Um, but yeah, so, we got the payloader here, the roll bucket and whatnot. This is running, getting warmed up. Load tractor down there, that 8R, that's getting warmed up. We got, both spreader tracks getting warmed up. Seth is going to start the uh, tank tractor. We were unsure if we were going to need a tank at all because they were here yesterday. But there's just a lot of liquid that ran in there. So let's probably take one or two tank loads out here. Going up to the load stand. We'll get back on there. And then we should be able to start taking out some solids hopefully and uh, not get stuck or anything. There is a supposedly a concrete bottom here. We just got to find it. So, right now I'm on the ramp going down, and uh, like I said, I kind of regret turning these lights on because they're kind of blinding me right now, but uh, we're just going to take it nice and slow because I'm sure this is pretty slippery. I don't know if you can tell, but there's probably six inches of slops in there underneath that is concrete. So, I'm just going to try and get close to this tractor so I don't have to walk through all of it. Uh, just because I work with manure all day doesn't mean I want to be full of it, right? Uh, that looks about right. Yeah, there's that lagoon. Put this thing in park. Uh, we'll hop out the door here. Let me move some stuff around. Uh, will we make it without falling? Probably not. Uh. There's load stand, 8R410 loading, and uh, beautiful sight. Pretty sunrise though, look at those gorgeous colors over there. Okay, so now we're in the load tractor here. I'm gonna start the PTO. All right, PTO's going. Should be filling the line now. I'm sending some sh manure to him and he'll get loaded and then hopefully that takes all of this out and then we can start scooping out the payloader okay so it's been a little while since i ran one of these but uh they had it in agitate not load so if you if you saw earlier 
it was spraying a little bit out of that nozzle. I mean, it's spraying there, that's fine or whatever, but it was solely spraying out that nozzle, and we had nothing coming out of the load stand. But now, we do have stuff coming, or like it's going to the load stand or whatever, so we're actually loading now. So this will take just a couple minutes to get him loaded. And so all I'm doing is, as you're loading the tank, so where the load stand goes in right there, it has like the box on the top, you'll just kind of watch for the manure to start to splash a little bit, and that's when you slow it down, and you start to see some bigger splashes, that's when you shut it off because it's going to overflow. Um, and that's how you kind of know if it's loaded or not. So, we'll just get him loaded. Hopefully, there's only one load of water in here, and then we can start doing the dry pack, or the drier stuff. Okay, so back in the payload here. The, uh, we kind of ran out of water, there wasn't much in there, so maybe got half of a tank or whatever. Um, so, gonna put the spur, gonna drive in there with this, the payloader, and gonna kind of see what uh, a dry pack, what our Artex spreaders look like when we load them, how sloppy it is, and I kind of have to make a little canal, let more water on in there so we can pump it out, but uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so sitting here waiting, they're gonna bring the spiders up here, gonna put some loads in there. And then I think what we're gonna try to do is lift up the goon pump and kinda I took that first scoop from behind it, but just kinda scoop out where the pump is, and hopefully all the water runs in there, kinda make like a gully or whatever. All the water to run in there, and then maybe we can get another half load or one more load because that's pretty it's pretty sloppy yet down there. Um, but there's a pile against the west bank this side and it's tall <laughs> the payload room, I mean probably like 12 13 feet tall on the cab so there's a uh, there's a lot of manure to be moved over it's gonna take over a week I'm sure I don't think even if we get a nice pad down there I don't know if the spiders can back down there I think it'll be too steep of an angle and the gearbox would hit before it starts to level out um, but that'll just be something we'll have to check out when we get to that point and hopefully the spiders can drive down there and make cleaning it out a little bit faster, but uh, I'm not sure if that'll happen. But uh, until then, we'll try and get some loads in and whatnot. And, uh, but it's a sloppy mess, this is some um, sloppy manure. So yeah, I'll get these guys loaded. Looks like they're about to come over and then we'll take more scoops out. Okay, so Jane's gonna hop in um, 
this ADAR here, the loading tractor for the tanks. Gonna raise that up and pull forward a little bit and hopefully give me a bit more room because, uh, like I said, I just tried to dig a little gully right to it and I just need him to pull forward so that I can get under where the pump is because I don't think we can back it up anymore. Because the hose will pull too tight and get ran over. Uh, this is super, super sloppy. So we're just going to try and do the best that we can and hopefully we figure out a solution and we can start getting into a little bit more solid get stuff. Any more liquid out of there. Okay, so Jane's in there now. He's gonna, I'm assuming, raise this up and then pull forward a little bit. Uh, and then, so I got a lot of this scooped out here. I just need to scoop out right over there. And then and all this liquid here should pull out a little bit better. So, we dug it out. Got a little bit lower than what it was. We do think this stuff's too thick to put in the tank. We're worried we're gonna plug it. Um, so, here's the load stand and our lagoon pump and put it in our Arctec spreader, which there's one right there. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thicker stuff right here, this drier stuff, and we're gonna put it in like, so if the, the bucket is a spreader, it'll put a bucket in the front and a bucket in the back, and then it'll kind of seal where the gate is and where the chains come in. And we'll fill the whole middle with liquid, and then it should uh, not leak out the back anywhere and make a mess in the yard. And you can't tell it now, but I do have, uh, yeah, you can't really see, but this bucket, I did this scoop there, you can kind of tell. So this is all full of drier stuff. So we'll go get the spreaders pulled up and then uh, we'll start loading like that. But uh give you a little idea of what we're working with here. So I mean, it's like a foot or two deep. And like I said, this is as tall as the payloader right now. So uh, quite a bit in here. Stuff's a little bit more liquid in the back here. But uh, they said it's like a three and a half million lagoon and they only got two million out. Okay, so we pulled the lagoon pump out and uh, they're gonna move the load stand and whatnot. It's, we can't, the lagoon pump can't get down any farther, it's just hitting the bottom and then uh, there's not enough liquid falling in, so we can't really load anymore like that. So we'll just load a lot of this into um, the Artex with the payloader. And so there's another ramp over here. It's steeper. It's like I can't drive it, but we're gonna try and uh, dig do it with the payloader, and then uh, back the uh, um, lagoon pump in and see if we can pull some more liquid out. So, we were able to get a spreader in here. Ooh, looks like he's having a hard time climbing out. Um, there he goes. Um, yeah, so I was scooping out from over here. I did get that whole entire thing opened up, so we should be able to put that lagoon pump in there. I might put a little like wall in here and try and push this more liquidy stuff. Um, in right over there just kind of build a wall so it can't run out almost like a dam 
But uh, Jaden's up there. He's gonna back down. All right, take another load out. I'll move some more of the manure over. That's over there. And then uh, by the next round, we should be able to put that lagoon pump in and maybe load some more of the spreaders or whatnot. We do have 13 loads um, done for the day. We This is the uh, first round that we were able to load from down here. So it load should go a little bit quicker now that I don't have to run up this entire ramp here. Uh, payload is like that too much. Well, I think like three miles an hour, just pull pushing that up much weight. And then that being slick and whatnot, and that incline wasn't good. So you can kind of see the edge of the concrete right there. Uh, apparently, there's a bunch of little like white concrete pylons all the way around the whole thing. <laughs> um, but uh, so we got a bunch of those all the way around the perimeter of the concrete, supposedly. So we just gotta watch out for those. Haven't found any yet. They're like five feet tall. Um, so there should be, we should be coming up on one soon in here. So I'm just gonna kind of hope I don't hit it. And if I do and take it out, we gotta watch that we don't load it into the spreader because that would not be good to go through those beaters. Um, they already take quite a bit of beating with all the manure. Don't wanna be sending a whole bunch of uh, solid rocks and concrete through there. But we are making good progress here. We got all this. I did build that dam here. Um, but yeah, we are making quite a bit of leeway over there. So, kind of see that little white thing right there? If it'll focus. Um, that's part of one of those pylons I was talking about. I, uh, I hit it somewhere over here. I should say, I found it somewhere over here. Um, but yeah, I mean, I didn't even know I hit it until I was piling, I was scooping all this stuff. And I was just kind of making a pile right over here. And then uh, I just dumped it on. I saw some white piece come out. It was a bit bigger of a piece I dumped up uh, they're already up on the ramp out of the way. We don't want to send that through the spreader at all. Um, but yeah, so I just gotta kind of be a little bit more careful working around that. I'll have to probably work right here and just kind of let it fall down and see if I can start to find them because definitely don't want to take a bunch of those out. They're hard to see, but if we can prevent hitting them and taking them out, that'll be the best. So, but we got a lot of this. Got this whole kind of like a dam built up here. Um, built that up more there. It's flowing into there. There's a lot of liquid's moving over to there it's kind of seeping in in a few spots but for the most part keeping it a little bit drier here a little less sloppy um but it is supposed to rain tomorrow so we're tonight so hopefully that misses us we can keep going we got let's see that's 26 loads and so and it's only like 11 30 right now so hopefully we can get a lot more in So, that rain I was talking about, um, so if you guys are familiar with the southwest Minnesota towns, we're just north of Gibbon, it's a small town, um, and if you know where Sleepy Eye is, there's a bunch of red and yellow rain on radar down there, and it's making its way north towards us, um, I believe it's like probably 40 miles southwest of us a little bit, I, I'm probably off by a little bit. Actually, I got some droplets on my windshield now, but that's coming to us. So we're going to keep loading, hopefully get a couple more rounds out. Um, we do still have, uh, you can kind of see it, the hose right there. We got to get that out. Um, right now, there's just so much sand in the hose, so we can't pull up our hand. We're going to um, 
try and get a chain or a tow strap and pull it out with a payload or at least you change a tire on it. get it out of the uh, lagoon or whatnot and hopefully get it somewhat staff, get cleaned out so that it uh, doesn't freeze on us. Okay, so she's raining, uh, pretty bad. So we pulled that hose out, got that all put away, parked everything else. And uh, now Wee Wee and I are gonna bed our Gibbon farm. Hopefully we can get this done before it pours on us. So we did get Gibbon all bed and whatnot. Didn't get much of that on camera because it decided to downpour on us. So, uh, wasn't able to pull the photo much then. Wasn't too enjoyable doing that in the rain, but we got it done. Um, and then, so this is actually, I was hoping I wouldn't finish the video and I could do like a day two, but it rained too much. So, currently, sailing the boat up. Uh, gonna put diesel and death in here. I'm gonna wash this one up really clean and get it ready for sit over the winter and then we're gonna wash our other boat get that one pretty clean but not too clean just in case it has to go somewhere again um, but otherwise that one will be ready for winter and so will this one but uh thanks for watching and uh hopefully we can get a day two or something in at that lagoon before it freezes hopefully um or we'll have to go bring all our equipment back and get all that stuff washed thanks for watching